Now for the best part, the speed test. On a gigabit network, I ran three speed tests, one nearby at 5 feet, one further away at 15 feet with one wall in between, and another at 25 feet with one wall in between. Speed tests can fluctuate based on the time of day, the device you're using, and the server you're connected to, so take it with a grain of salt. That said, this tiny router surprised me. At 5 feet away, I recorded a download speed of 689 megabits per second and an upload speed of 754 megabits per second. At 15 feet away, download speeds clocked in at 444 megabits per second and upload speeds of 200 megabits per second. And at 25 feet away, I documented download and upload speeds of 357 and 86 megabits per second respectively. While the drop in download speed was expected and tolerable the further I got from the router, the upload speeds really took a beating. So you want to stay close of uploading to socials or sending documents. The router has the option to enable an MLO network, which combines both bands. While the speed difference wasn't night and day, the MLO network did produce faster download and upload speeds for the most part. For example, at 25 feet away, download speeds came in at 391 megabits per second with an upload speed of 119 megabits per second. Compared to the 5G network, the MLO network's download speed was faster by 34 megabits per second. Like I said, not a major difference, but it's something worth considering. If you're joining a video conferencing call or streaming on Netflix show, it can't hurt to be on the MLO network since it promises more reliability.